Okay, finally on the show, Junior Achievement Nigeria concluded its 2017 lead camp for girls with recognition and award of certificates. So let's go check it out. Junior Achievement Nigeria rounded off a seven-day mentoring program with awards and recognition for the over 30 girls who took part in the program. This is the seventh edition of the Lead Camp program since its existence 18 years ago. The girls had the opportunity to learn more from resource persons in the areas of media, entertainment, health, technology, finance and other fields of life. Their efforts did not go unappreciated as some outstanding participants were honored for job well done. In the course of the week, the program focused on career guidance, mentorship, leadership skills, vocational and skills acquisition, and Jan is desirous that these young ladies will become Nigeria's human resource capital, much needed for the development of the country. So Lead Camp was created to really um, step into a gap that we identified in our program work. We identified when we were doing a lot of junior achievement programs that young girls were actually less confident. They were less confident in coming forward to, compared to the young boys of their age. And even when they came forward, they were reticent about their ideas. So the idea behind Lead Camp was to really inspire them to build their confidence and to give them the skills so that they could stand up next to their compatriots who are boys. So we were looking to give them leadership skills to empower them, to make them think of themselves as achievers and to develop them into the leaders of tomorrow. The next day is the official graduation ceremony and one after the other, the participants stepped forward to pick up their certificate. I have vision though I believe Organizers of the program want the private sector to identify and support more girls and also expose them to positive things that will shape up their future. They participated in leadership workshops. They have met women from different walks of life who have empowered them to think beyond their limits. They've uh, gone on field trips to different places. They participated in projects that are uh, media projects that they have to complete within the week. So some of them went on the radio, some uh, performed on television, and some wrote articles for newspapers. Um, overall, I think it's been a success because we have 
uh, young girls whose minds are open. They know that they can be and do anything they want to be. There, there are no limits anymore. And that's what we wanted to achieve. And I think we've achieved that. For the girls, this has been an amazing experience for them, showing what they have learned in the course of the week. And that came with a message. of men do not. Nigeria ranks 118 out of 134 countries on the international gender inequality ranking. Let's change this. Learns should be made to promote gender equality as girls. We should stand together, support one another to achieve what many term the impossible. Train a girl child. Train a nation. It is called Mother Earth, not Father Earth. Think about this. Before I came to this camp, I was kind of a shy person. So thanks to this lead camp, I've become more confident. So I've been able to talk more in, um, in, in the open. Actually, before I came to this camp, really, they asked us to write an essay. And in that essay, I actually listed, I said, if I'm opportune to be in this camp, for me going back to my school, I will become a new seed. A new seed in the area which each of my classmates, my school, because we are the last set of my school, the school is going to shut down after our set. So I want, before we cancel or the school being cancelled, I want them to know because we are unable to stand out to fight for our school. So this will give me that courage, that boldness to walk up to every student and tell them, let's come together. This school is our school, and let's face whatsoever challenges that has been blocking us. Actually, I've learned how to think beyond the norm, think outside the box. Um, like the vision board they told us to do, I, I, I have never thought of that before. I have the power right now to challenge the world and see what the future has in store for me. I have vision, no I believe. Junior Achievement Nigeria hopes to sustain the project in order to continue to impact more lives positively. Wow, a strong message right there. Yes, and I'm so happy. You know, I was part of this, so yeah. I... Those girls really made me proud, especially the ones in my group. Okay. And they got so many awards, so I'm proud of you, girls. <laughs> all right. Anyway, with that, we're done for today. Thank you so much for always holding us down all mm -hmm. the time. Remember that you can watch this again and past editions of the show on ChannelsTV.com. Hit us up on Twitter. Let's continue the conversation. Yeah. And you also know, reach us with the number blinking on your screen. I'm Ogechi Kose. And I'm Anne Umawadu. Definitely, we'll see you again before you count one to ten. Yeah. All right. Take care of yourself and enjoy the rest of the week.